So you're probably wondering why are you guys why are you guys looking at the drift shark? Well, that's because remember I got that motor and I took it out and put in the other one. I didn't record it because it was a frustrating. Uh, yeah, just something I really I'm not I'm really shaky as well, so doing these things were a bit is a bit difficult for me. But anyways, I did manage to get it out. And I didn't want to, like, film it. Because if you guys would uh, be there while I'm filming it, and, like, you know, you would, it'd get boring. I'd be shaking. I'd be cussing. It just, it, you wouldn't want to see that. But anyways, so here's the block that was in it before. And if you uh, remember my other videos, this is a retro pie heat sink. So that's on, this is a 130 brushed motor that uh, I completely wore out, completely. I mean, this thing is grinding on the inside. It sounds horrible. I uh, wore it out. Once I got tires for the Drift Shark, I started using it like a regular RC car. And because of that, I started getting the motor really hot and then that's when I got the heat sink. And uh, not only that, I thought I just think the heat sink makes it look super sweet, doesn't it? I mean, it does to me. But anyways, it did help it. But the motor I had used it a lot for drifting already, so it was worn out. Unfortunately, these little guys they don't last very long. They just don't. But anyways, you guys remember the PNN racing motor that I got today? So I got it, and uh, it was uh, had some issues, but not big ones. So this is the motor I dropped in. Well, at least it's from here. They make many motors. They don't say what the motor is. No, this one does. So uh, we got a brushed 50-turn motor right here. Come on, what are you doing? Stupid camera. So there it is and it goes to the mini z you can see the mini z right there um that's out of the way now so this is the old block which was pretty big but uh i don't know i might might buy another one of these but anyways so here's where they it's it's already installed it works feels good too so let's take a look at it, how it looks there it is guys It is a lot smaller than I expected. I thought it was going to be bigger, but it's it's a pretty small motor. Let me move this servo wire out of your guys' way. It wasn't just easy for me to drop it in and go. What I had to do was it came with a long shaft. Like the shaft was about this long on it I would say about that long it was long it was a big shaft so I had to grind that all the way down and then I had to like roughen this part up and uh, it took a long time sort of not really because it this material grinds really really fast so i mean even when they come flat like this i mean round and they need a flat spot it's really easy to grind a flat spot on it i've done it before these things are weak they're not meant to be super strong because they're not going to be grinded on but uh, as soon as you start grinding them the, it'll it'll right away you'll see results it'll get it'll start to um, get flat if you're trying to make it flat to put on um you know some sort of a pinion so uh, you know some of them have to be flat and then they screw on yeah you can just grind it flat but uh i have little grinding machines so that's what makes it easy but uh, other than that this is what it looks like it looks uh, it looks awesome i like it just only thing i just wish it wasn't so small it's it's a small block man I'll go ahead and fire it up. And I'll also tell you guys what, what happened. See, you know, when I was using my drift, the drift shark, I was just driving it around. 
I started noticing that I was losing signal, but I wasn't losing signal. What was happening was, is that the car would have to be pushed just a little like this, and then it would start rolling again. Or reverse, I would have to just tap it, and then it would reverse. And I would hear it going, mm, like trying to move, but it just couldn't move, so I knew I had fried the motor. So if you have symptoms like that in your RC car, like doesn't want to move, and then you kind of just tap it and then it moves it's pretty much letting you know that's you got a bad motor so let's go ahead and turn it on so i'm going to turn on the transmitter first got the transmitter on right here turn the car on wait and plug in the battery first turn it on there it is That is a huge difference. And I mean huge difference. I was not getting anywhere near that fast. So, uh, pretty good motor. Definitely recommend the crap out of this thing. This thing's awesome. And uh, I know my car is going to go quick now. Quicker. Kind of smash this down a little bit right now. Yeah, I don't like my cars all ugly. I like them nice and neat. Not bad. So I just wanted to show you guys the motor. Let you guys see how it looks. Just in case somebody wants to buy a 130 uh, brushed motor like this. With a ball bearing. And I can also open it up and um, I can replace things inside of it. So it's, it's really nice. And really fast. I'll do a speed run next time. It's dark now so I'll do one tomorrow. Just thought I'd share this with you guys and how nice it looks. So thanks a lot guys. Have a good night.